everybody Rev Nation here and I just want to show you all what the actual reality looks like at most of these uh, car dealerships that are telling you that there's no inventory and they're doing the market adjustments and everything there is probably at least 80 to 100 brand new Chevy Silverados here you can see, I mean, it's just brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. And I think one of the reasons why these are not selling is just that sticker price, man. Like, looking at a, uh, a mid-grade Trail Boss, and it was $63,000, and they were still trying to do a markup on it. And it's the same story. You go over here to Hyundai, and I swear to God, every Hyundai under the sun is on this parking lot, you know, and there's not a single person in there shopping. So what does that mean? I think that that means uh, we've got some good news for buyers coming up here soon that I, you're already getting the deals over the back there at Chevrolet. They've got the market adjustments on there but yet they also have red tag specials so uh it's a bit of a paradox but you know whatever right so you got some santa cruises there and uh it's funny is the uh the general manager here drives a toyota tundra trd pro <laughs> and uh he's supposed to be selling you know hyundai's to everybody it's kind of kind of funny but i'll do a quick uh another loop around real quick and they got a bunch of those Ionics to it, but again, those are, you know, 50 some thousand dollars. And I don't know too many people that are going to want to spend, you know, $58,000 on a Hyundai. Check out that sweet Ranger. I love that. That's a nice little XL. Looks like it's in good shape too. I should pick that up. Here is the Ford dealership and they're looking okay. You know, they've got plenty there, but they're not kind of overran like that Chevy dealer back there. Past Mitsubishi, I swear to God, they've got like 300 cars on the lot. And, and they've, they've never been light. So I don't know. I, I, Mitsubishi is a tough brand in the United States, man. They should have really kept that Evo going or something. Or uh, brought some type of mid-sized truck into the market. Worked out a deal not that long ago at Acura. And I got $5,000 off of MSRP on an RDX. And everybody's like, no way, you know, and all this other stuff. And it's because I had an actual desirable trade that their sister store wanted. So they were willing to give me whatever I, uh, I asked for so they could get their hands on that trade. I was working a deal out for a friend. Tons of Acuras, you know, as far as the eye can see. But again, you know, these are are relatively expensive vehicles and I'll, I'll loop back around here this isn't a huge dealership but I'm telling you folks uh, they normally would have six or seven cars on their lot for like the past you know couple of years and as you can see uh, the rows are stacked and the people are nowhere to be found so I guess you can all kind of do the math on that so my advice to you all would be to hold tight because these dealerships are starting to feel the pain. We're here at Toyota and as you can see, pretty different uh, situation. They got a couple Tacomas. Looks like they got some limited. So again, back to that price point. They've got a couple uh, Forerunners here, um, but for the most part, you know, check that out. They're they're really bare bones. What what you just saw was the only new vehicles that they have. So even the ones up in front are all used. So yeah, Toyota sales are still going strong. That's for sure. Either that or their supply chain is completely effed. So stay tuned for more, folks. Uh, please subscribe. You know, and comment and share the videos. All right, take care, and we'll see you soon.